Hey guys. Hey guys. Welcome back to another vlog. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm, this is a rarity, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, this is weird. Yeah, strange, being in the passenger seat. But then I've actually been driving quite a lot recently, haven't I? Very successfully. Well, yeah, I had, so I've actually not vlogged now for probably about 10 days, which is a really long time for me because normally I vlog like three or four days a week and just kind of like collate them into a video per week or two videos but yeah I've had a bit of a break because because work has been very busy yeah busy <laughs> come on move your body <laughs> yeah work has been really busy and I have had a lot going on with like different projects and clients and all sorts of different things. So yeah, I took a bit of a breather from vlogging, but I'm excited to be back today and Mikey's in it as well, which is nice. It takes the load off of me, just you being here to hold the camera and hold my It's camera. actually hurting my arm. It does hurt, doesn't it? It's hard work there. Yeah. <laughs> it's really, really tough. <laughs> I'm having to hold, to hold a camera. My arm up with my other arm. <laughs> He's going dead. <laughs> um, let's see, you're not really holding it in the right place. Where like, should I hold go it? Go up a bit. So I'm, no, 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 just like tilt the camera up so it's not, yeah, like go no, down slightly. You're yeah. like still getting my chins. <laughs> Selfish. <laughs> Selfish vlogger. Um, yeah, so today we are going to Ikea. We need to get a few baskets, don't we? We do. Just for, what do we actually need to put in them? Just like accessories and. Yeah. Like just, yeah. Basically, yeah. Um, and so we're going to pick that up. And I thought I would just show you kind of what's new in IKEA. I've seen a lot of people on Instagram and TikTok getting some new bits. So I wanted to go and see for myself and just show you guys what I thought of all of it. And yeah, I think I tried to show a range of different priced pieces on my channel on Instagram, TikTok as well. But I know that it's kind of easy to think that you like i will only buy like luxury pieces or pieces that are a certain price point which isn't true at all we have a lot of pieces from different shops in our house like some of my favorite pieces that we have are from like dunelm or yeah. ikea um so yeah i just thought it would be nice to kind of show you guys what i think looks quite luxury and yeah and how much it costs and do a bit of a haul with you all so yeah looking forward to it and it's a wednesday which i'm sure you would have seen in another vlog if i talk you talk about this which i will <laughs> which will be before this sorry that's a mouthful but i'm starting to take wednesdays off of work oh, sorry <laughs> oh, it's, it's just not. funny because we're you're working right now no 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 but this isn't like normal work Right, okay. Like, as in I'm taking Wednesdays off of doing like a normal work, which for me looks like getting up at like half six and posting on Instagram. Yeah. Doing like, replying to messages, comments, then doing design work, then doing my emails, then having meetings, then trying to make a bit of content and working until like 9, 10 p.m. True. Right, so I'm having like a day off of that and like I can do something not like this is something that I enjoy doing we get to go out I've like it's like today I've like not done anything with my skin or hair. like yeah it feels like a day off of like commitment right okay do you know what I mean <laughs> yeah basically I will fill you in on this in another maybe I should just do like a bit of a sit down catch up video but my I think I'm I've been really like well recently do you think yeah like i've been really happy and i think i've just been working too hard i mean yeah i'm, not, I'm saying been working like 24 7 it's i know it's relative and i'm not saying my job is hard compared to other people's jobs like i'm not a doctor i'm not a nurse i'm not like do you know what i mean it's not mm. crawling but it's a lot of hours hard. like it's, like mentally quite draining it is draining but i think it's hard for people who don't see what you do to know how much work it is like yeah. I do think your job probably looks a lot easier than it is yeah that and I think sense. that's like with interior design I think a lot of people think like oh you're just choosing nice swatches and colors but like it's nothing yeah. like there's so much that goes on behind the scenes there and it's 
nice because you love your job, which I think is the difference for a lot of people. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, obviously, I'm sure a lot of people love their job, but like... That's like I was saying to Mikey the other day when, so basically the reason I've decided to have Wednesdays off is I work all weekend, which is fine because my, I feel like I wear a lot of different hats in my job, so on the weekend I will more be dedicated to wearing the like, I'm doing social media hat. Yeah. And like I'll be like putting stories up and taking photos and videos to share on Instagram and stuff like that and I obviously do different things to that in the week as well. Um, but I don't really want to give up working on the weekends and I do have time off over the weekend. Like I'll meet friends for lunch, I'll go out and have drinks and do fun things but work still consumes a lot of the weekend so I think taking like a day midweek where like I don't do work yeah that's gonna be really good we need yeah so that's why I decided to do that but I mean I might cut this out because I'm sure I would have gone through that in another <laughs> video but anyway we're here for an Ikea haul and come shopping so enough chatting how long has that been seven minutes great longest intro seven in the minutes. world I was trying to be really quick but Come to Ikea shopping with me. <laughs> okay guys, so we've come straight in and I've seen this, which I actually really like. Mikey, not so much, but for anyone redoing your bathroom, it's 175 pounds. Not bad. Mikey's look of disdain. <laughs> oh Mikey, this is nice. We need a washing basket. That's quite cool, isn't it? Hmm. Just seen this sofa, which Mikey's smitten kitten with. Is it comfy? <laughs> I like that one. I think for like cottage kind of call, it's quite nice. It's quite nice, isn't it? There's only three different colours. That's the simplicity of Ikea, <laughs> isn't it? Well, you can... That's really handy. What do you think? How much is that? 79. That's actually really not bad. You know, for um, kind of like as a basket that could double up with a cushion on for yeah, a footstool or something. I actually like that. Sorry, guys, I actually wasn't going to chat the whole way round, but I've just seen this lamp, which I think is really cool. And it's 27 pounds. It has, it's like white. What material is that? Just like cotton but like fake and then I quite like the shade anyway but I think that's a really really nice design I think that looks quite like luxurious yeah these are quite nice as well you know like these units not very like us but I actually like them they remind me you know that guy on TikTok who does the kind of like outfits like Nancy Mayo's vibes yes. outfits Just gives me his energy which I like and these as well I really like, we need some more vases. Okay, I'm vlogging on my phone, by the way, so I'm not sure how well you can actually hear all of this, but I've seen these chairs that I really, really like. I think they look quite expensive. This is um, kind of like a mesh fabric and then obviously the wood, but I think these would look really, really nice in kind of like a country, but contemporary home. They're 50 pounds. Um, yeah, so a really, really good chair, I think. I have a de uh, leather desk pad, which I mean, I would say mine is nicer, but mine was about 40 pounds, I think. Um, it's oh, not actually, it's not leather. No, it's vegan. Vegan leather, because I'm vegan. Jokes, I'm not. But um, this cork one is only six pounds, and I think it gives a similar kind of effect, doesn't it? Which is nice. And I've also just seen this for an iPhone stand. I don't know if anyone's job kind of relies on them, like, sitting and looking at things. Like, I sometimes just watch stories whilst I'm working, so that would be really practical. And then the same there for um, an iPad, which is really useful. Guys, 
guys, we've just seen this. We need a new wash basket, and we've seen oh. this one, but Mikey's thinking Toto's of using it. Huh? <laughs> 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 All right, Dorothy. We're thinking this one could actually be a nice handbag as well. <laughs> Hey guys, so it's a few hours later now. I'm home and Mikey has had to go to work. I'm just gonna grab some of the pieces that I got. So hopefully you got to see lots of the really, really nice things that Ikea have right now. I know there are loads of pieces that I'm definitely thinking about getting for when we move, some bigger items as well. So that's really exciting. Um, I, as I said earlier with the update about like life and work and that stuff, I'm gonna film a separate sit down vlog actually straight after this. Um, oh, I'm not wearing a watch. It's quarter past four, so I'm gonna sit down and do that and then crack on with some other other work for the evening. But, um, yeah, we are basically include a house update in that, so you may have seen that already, but I'll just run through some of the things that I got. So I got this um, cereal holder. I mean, you could use it to decant anything, and I know a lot of people really like the like aesthetic um kind of storage jars and stuff which i do have some of over there obviously but in the cupboard i actually really like just having these ones which i know are airtight they're really easy for like everyday things like cereal and pasta and rice and they i think are only a couple of pounds so yeah really really affordable um I can't get the packaging off, but they have this on top so you can lift up the like flap and then pour it out easily and it stores 2.3 litres, so really happy with that, just to run through kind of the essentials that I got. Um, I then picked up these new pillows for our bed, so we basically, well I was going to say we get through pillows quickly, we don't at all. We replace them as you would maybe every year or two but I was actually really impressed by the quality of those pillows so I thought I'd give them a go and I will let you know how I get on with them because I'm very fussy when it comes to pillows and I have one memory foam one from Emma Sleep which I love and then Mikey has one from m and that he loves so I bought those to give them a go um, they are the in case anyone's interested I will list them below but they're the Skogsvarken Sparkle, and they are quite firm and they were 15 pounds each so quite expensive for Ikea but they felt really really luxurious. Um, the next couple of things that I got, I got this little soap dish, I just thought it was really cute, it's in like this pebble colour, um, it was literally a couple of pounds and we needed a new soap dish for, not a, well yeah a new one, we have one by our um, sink in the bathroom on the vanity and then we needed one for the shower as well because I have like a face um, soap bar which is just better for the environment so I thought that that would be practical and then I also got this small glass jar which would, again was I think about one or two pounds um, it's got this like fluting detail which oh, my phone's ringing one second Hello. I am so sorry guys, well, I mean you won't know that that took half an hour, but my dad was on the phone, so I caught up with him. Um, I can't remember where I was, but if I was still talking about this, um, I'm gonna use it for just toothbrushes in the bathroom because I currently have an antique, like, vessel thing from Dalesford, which is just not practical to keep clean. So I thought something like this would look nice and you can basically see when it needs to clean. You can rinse it out every couple of days when it needs it without worrying that it's gonna crack and crumble and it's worth like 40 quid. So I've got that. And then next thing we got, Mikey saw this and really liked it, which it looks really similar to some of the ones you get from the White Company. So. Yeah, really, really happy with this. I think it was around five pounds. Um, it's called Penfisk, so perfect for bread um, when you're having like dinner parties. I actually might try and go back and get a couple more of these because yeah, I just think it's very, very attractive. The type of thing that suits our style now and a potential move. Um, so, excuse me. 
So yeah, really, really happy with that one. And then the last couple of things we got were these storage baskets. So again, I'm thinking now that I wish I got some more of these because they'd be great for our bookcases just to kind of keep like candles, um, small accessories, like vases, that kind of stuff. Um, but I also like to have these in my study in the cupboard that I have just to put like all of my camera accessories, um, swatches, any of that kind of stuff. And they were £15 each, so I mean, they weren't cheap, but I really do like the wood tone. You can kind of see it goes with a lot of the other kind of wood tones we have in the cottage. It's quite warm and um, like buttery, I would say. So yeah, I'm really, really happy with those. And like with everything, when it comes to moving, Obviously stuff like this is really, really practical when you're in kind of a new place and you just want storage, you want things that you can shove under your bed, under a console, anything. So I, personally, I don't think you can have enough baskets. It just helps keep your life that bit more organized. I really hope you enjoyed today's video and saw some pieces that you like. There was a lot of amazing things in Ikea, I think I'll try and head back soon, but on my own without Mikey and vlog properly, show you lots more, um, especially when we're starting to plan kind of the decoration of our new home, which I will give you an update on very soon. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Make sure you're subscribed if you did and give the video a thumbs up, please. It does really, really mean a lot and basically means that I can keep making these videos and yeah, it makes me want to come back and show up. <laughs> so thanks for watching guys and I will chat with you soon. Bye.